Praise the name of Jesus Christ viewers wherever you are in the world. So today I'm going to talk about unity. But even if I'm talking about a unity, we are going to look in the great weapons which Satan use to destroy the Christian families in our marriages today. And those, you know, weapons are called misunderstanding and disunity. Now, disunity and a misunderstanding are one of the major weapons Satan use to destroy our marriage and to make sure people are divorced. And remember, divorce is not in God's will for Christians' families. We have already talked about it. Now, what causes this unity and a misunderstanding? Satan is the one behind all these things. You know, he brings thoughts into our minds so that you may not understand one another. Because his, you know, his ways of doing things is to bring division. He is the one who brings division. You know what he is capable to do. When brethren stay together in a unity and in understanding, he's not happy because when families have one mind, one understanding, mm -mm, he's not happy. And the reason why Christian families have been victims of his devices, Satan's devices, because we do not we do not do what? Discern. You know, the word of God helps us to discern. When you read in the book of Hebrews chapter 4, from verse 11, 12, 13, there, it speaks the ability of the word of God. When you read the word of God, in one portion it says, it will help you to discern. You know, to discern. Discernment is from the word of God. And also discernment is from the gift of the Holy Spirit. So the gift, power gift of the Holy Spirit are nine. So one of them also is discernment. Discerning between spirits and spirits, evil spirits and good spirits. You know, the knowledge of good and evil is very important because uh, if you do not know, the wrong or the evil things you will think they are right and if you don't know the right thing you will think they are evil so Jesus in his word says my people perish for the lack of knowledge and he talked even to the priest because the priests have rejected knowledge God is saying he will reject the priest so knowledge is so powerful. Satan uses mind in order to bring misunderstanding and in order to bring also um, disunity so that you may not stay together. Understanding is one of the greatest things in, in the Word of God because we are speaking in the book of you know Ephesians chapter 4 from verse 3 the word of God says endeavoring endeavoring to do what to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond 
peace, in the bond of peace, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. This thing is spiritual. You know, God sees us one, husband and wife, before God are one. And these things is made possible through the uh, through the union of marriage in our Christian families today. And these things is spiritual. It's not like only physical. Physically, we are different. So you see, this is a woman and this is a man. But God sees us one. And this happens through the intercourse, sexual relationship. They are spiritual. Even if it's an act of the physical things, but they are spiritual. So through that, God has united us, husband and wife, to be one thing. That's what I'm saying is spiritual. Hallelujah. And even we are one with God through the Spirit. We are one with our wives, one with our husband through the Spirit. Now God says in the bondage of what? In the bondage of peace. God loves us to live with peace. When we seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, all these things shall be added unto us. Because peace is one of the elements of the kingdom of God. Because the kingdom of God is not eating nor drinking, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. So you see the Holy Spirit is involved. Keeping the bondage of peace involved the Holy Spirit because it's the bondage of the Spirit in love. Now, we see the unity of the Spirit with the bondage, with the bond of peace. It is made possible when you are in Christ Jesus. Because when we receive Jesus, we have power to become sons of God. Then when we are we have, have that power to become sons of God. That power is the Holy Spirit. Remember Jesus said, When the Spirit of God shall come upon you, you shall receive power. It is not by power, not by might, but by the Spirit of God. So we need the Spirit of God in order for us to keep that bondage of, you know, uh, to keep that bondage, you know, of peace through the unity which we have in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Because only Christ Jesus is the one who has united us with our Heavenly Father God. Now, we see unity there and here we see the bondage of peace. We need to mind the things of the Spirit by the renewing of our mind through the Word of God. Because every marriage is under the leadership of the Holy Spirit for those who are Christians because the Holy Spirit is leader is our leader he said when the Holy Spirit will come upon you upon us we shall receive power to become sons of God and also he will teach us all things and the things which we are learning is through the Word of God and the Holy Spirit reminds us of the Word of God and the things which will help our marriage to stay longer because the Holy Spirit uses, drops His mind into our spiritual mind in order for us to live in our marriages because marriage is spiritual and at the same time physical. So the result of following the leadership of the Holy Spirit depend on how much we take instruction from the Holy Spirit because the failure to take instruction from the Holy Spirit will bring what? Distraction, disunity and misunderstanding and this thing is all about the Holy Spirit of God and you see the Spirit of God we say is, is, is who? The Spirit of God is the spirit of wisdom 
and of understanding the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of might, the spirit of the fear of God, the spirit of knowledge. Hallelujah. And the spirit of might. You see? So marriage is spiritual. How to do that is all this information that God wants us and you to know. And God sees in the you know in the setup of marriage because it was orchestrated by God, it, it began with God. So leadership is in a man. So it is my advice to every man in the world to connect with the Christ Jesus by believing in Him in order for you to receive instruction from the Holy Spirit to lead your family. Because a husband is the leader of his family. And he takes in from, you know, instruction from the leader who is called the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of understanding. So when you follow understanding from the Holy Spirit, the instruction of understanding, that means misunderstanding will be far from you because you will discern it. Because we see one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit of nine, one of them is called discerning between spiritual things. That is evil spirits and good spirits. It's the, you know, Holy Spirit is needed. And you, as a wife, if your husband is a born-again Christian and he is under the instruction and the leadership of the Holy Spirit, know your man is blessed. So, don't be head-minded. Don't be stiff-necked as a woman not to follow what your husband is saying. Because God respects leadership. God is a, is a God of order. And if you have not received Jesus Christ in your life as, as a man, as a husband, please do so, do so today. Because God is counting on you. You are the one to lead your family. Leadership as you know from the beginning was given to man. Adam was given the leadership, but he failed in that leadership because God told him not to eat the, the, the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil, but he received that misinstruction from his wife because the wife ate what God did not allow her to eat. So when she gave to her husband, the husband also did not consider the instruction which God gave unto him. Hey, he ate also, that's why sin came to the world. But if the man was brave enough to say, my wife, you have done wrong things, I will not do that. Let me pray for you. So the failure of marriage is also men, we, we are blamed. Because love is not foolishness and love is not blind. Love is sober. Love is so sober and love is wisdom. God is love and love is wisdom. Love is obedience. Love rejoices with the truth. Love is kind. Love follows the light. Jesus Christ is the light. Love is under the leadership of the Holy Spirit. If you have the love of God in you, you shall follow the Holy Spirit. So, women, we need to be focused and very courageous to lead our family. Because, you see, some women out there, when the, 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 the husband start to lead their wives in the ways of the Lord, the wives have those mind, you know, sayings, you know, I did not marry, marry a, a pastor, I did not marry a priest. You know, you husband, you are a priest, you are a pastor. You are the visionary. You need to follow. Even if your wife is telling you that, no, tell her the truth. This is my responsibility to pastor my house, to priesthood my house, 
to show the light of God in my house. So, women, that's wrong. When you tell you, your husband is not a pastor in your house, you're not a priest. You know, a godly husband receives instruction from the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit receives instruction from Jesus Christ because Jesus said, He will take from me and give it unto you. So if we follow all these things, let me tell you, the weapons of disunity and misunderstanding will be far from you, far from your marriage. And the marriage which have getting to divorce in the result of misunderstanding and disunity, may God start to restore it today in the name of Jesus Christ. These things is deep, but God wanted us, me to preach, to teach in order for you to restore your marriage today. This is the word of God, and this is what God has put into my mouth, to my mind to tell you. Take it positively, and it shall yield the fruits hundredfold, seventyfold, and thirtyfold in your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for the women who are, you know, under the Holy Spirit instructions or born again Christians, but their husband is not born again, what happens in such kind of marriage? Now, the leadership. Of the spiritual matters in faith is upon you as a woman but you need to be careful because you still God honors that man so you need to be very shrewd very cunning how you shall lead that family be on your knees have the the, the, the instruction of God that a woman will submit to her husband in all things but when the husband is not born again Christians, what you do, let God's power be in you. Follow the Holy Spirit. He will lead you how to help your husband to turn to Christ through your leadership. So now you will be leading. So make sure you, you gather your, your children for prayer. Even if the husband will not accept it, but make sure you do that. And if the husband do not like it, do it in your secret until one day God will answer you publicly. And when you do that constantly without giving up, let me tell you, that means you have hope. Hope will not put you to shame. Hope is powerful and strong. One day God will put, you know, your husband to the fix to recognize your Lord and God until one day you will receive Jesus Christ. When you receive Jesus Christ, then that spiritual leadership, you will now encourage your husband to have it so that he may take his position as a priest, as a husband, as a pastor in the family, and God will reward you one day in the name of Jesus. So may God bless you. May God bless our marriages in Jesus' name. Let me now call upon the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray in your name, may you save marriages which are under the influence and attacks of these two weapons of misunderstanding and this unity in marriages. May you, God, destroy those weapons in the name of Jesus, through the blood of Jesus Christ. May you bring good words, establishment, and victory over the marriage which are under such attack. In the name of Jesus, may you unite and bring marriage which are experiencing those attacks together. May you establish understanding and unity in that marriage in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. 
may you bless Christians worldwide and help the Christians marriage now to start having power revival under the influence of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ may you God establish unity and understanding through your spirit in the bond of peace in our marriages and let your peace prevail in Christ Jesus oh hallelujah thank you Jesus because it is done receive all the glory receive all the honor in Jesus mighty powerful name amen and amen amen <laughs>